Right. <clears throat> so, this is going to be fun. I saw your list. I saw your list for the first se- section of this podcast, which is, which you guys don't know, it is rating your celebrity crushes. It is. Um, it is. We, we did a poll on Instagram asking who your celebrity crushes were. We actually exploited you because we didn't tell you that we were going to be judging you for them. Um, but you should have assumed that because it's us. And we had a lot of responses. Oh, it's fucking insane. I think I it's it was a ridiculous. bit slow to start off. And so I jokingly was like, hey, guys, remember to go back and do it. And it set off this kind of chain reaction. I was like, fuck me. What? But I love it. So thank you. Honestly, there's actually like, there's some interesting ones. Because some people have gone for the serious approach. And I'm hoping some people are joking, honestly. There's someone there some that, that I are... know that you won't know. Because it's like inside jokes that people have got with me. So oh, okay. if we get to those ones, I'm going to have to try and explain them. Yeah. But you know. Okay. Okay. How are we going to do this? Are we going to do like, take it in turns to just throw a name into the mix? Sure. I might have to. I'm really, really bad with um celebrities. So I might have to Google search some of them. Yeah. This is fair. Why don't you kick us off? With one that you know. With one that I know? Yeah. Okay. Well, I thought this one was quite entertaining. Uh, This is from a course mate of mine. Um, And he has put Pam Ferris. Who who is Pam Ferris? Should I... Um, So you know Matilda? I know Matilda. You know Miss Trunchbull. Oh my god, it's Miss Trunchbull. (laughs) 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 <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. I don't know who you are, but I love you. My God. Um, yeah, and she's played, like, other characters as well, like... No, nah, that's think. it. That was the one career-defining role. That's all I know her as now. That, that... I feel like that's a good way to start this. All right, okay. Should we, um... Should we take people through the categories before we, um... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Before we rank. Um, okay. Yeah. You've got them in front of you, haven't you? I do, I do. Okay. So we were talking yesterday about the, what categories we're going to go for, because um, Kat suggested it earlier in the week, and I was like, oh, this is a really good idea. Um, because initially when she said, oh, we could rank people's celebrity crushes, I was like, I really don't want to say that this person looks attractive and this person doesn't. This is just going to make me look terrible. Um, but luckily, we've avoided that kind of drama by coming up with five categories, which I will present to you now. So the lowest tier is you need serious help. Um, you know that was a cat special. Cat special. <laughs> uh, second to lowest, I'll tell you I'm not judging you, but I definitely am. Third tier, fair dues. It's fair dues. Yeah. Fourth tier, I can vibe with that. And fifth tier, a Chris special here, spirit guide. <laughs> So we're going to be putting this long ass list of celebrity crushes into these five categories. I have no idea how far down the list we're going to get because fuck me, yeah. there's a lot. It's so many. <laughs> anyway, we'll, we'll we'll give it a go. Pam Ferris, or as I will now be calling her, Miss Trunchbull. Um, do you have any initial thoughts on where Miss Trunchbull yeah. should go? Oh god, okay. Fair dues. Fair dues, okay. Go on, go on, give me more. I just think, you know, if that's your type of woman, that's your type of woman, and I respect that. You know what? I'm down with that. I don't have anything more really to add to that. She's, I think she's fair got dues a job, and she does it well. She's got a there job, go. she does it well, and you know what? We love we, a strong, independent, monobrow we do. We do. woman. We do, we do. <laughs> Regardless of, you know, her... Her true nature, which is, as we all know, horrible. <laughs> you got to respect the energy. And I do. I respect the energy. <laughs> Can't believe I've just said I respect... Literally, we went away, Child we've had a two-week <laughs> break, and I've come back and said, I respect Miss Trunchbull energy. Great. Well done. Well done, Chris. That's well, it. Yeah, well done. Chris. People waited two weeks to hear me say, I respect Miss Trunchbull. I'm sorry. All right. I'm going to throw a curveball in. Um, okay. Tom Hanks. 
Uh, hmm. Oh, no. What do you think? Okay, now, bear with me on this. Mm. I'm actually going for Spirit Guide on this one. Now, hear me out, okay? Hear me out. I just feel like he's one of the most lovely people, like, okay. celebrity-wise, out there at the moment. He's just not... There's no drama. He's not done anything wrong. He's not, you know, like... There's all the people around him that are being cancelled because we're finding out they're actually horrible people. And Tom yeah. Hanks is just there being a nice guy. But I feel like what you're about to say is you need serious help. Uh, not you need serious help, I just... He's just not my cuppa. You know? Wouldn't it? I respect him, but just, just not my cuppa. How long's he been with his wife? That might change my thoughts. Like a while, I think. Okay, look, this is... look. We'll find out. Here I'm we go. Have a look. Prepare married yourself. in eighty-eight. Sorry, yeah, I just ruined married that in for you. There you go. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, I I might say I can vibe with that then. You can vibe with that. I'm not a hater. I'm just not a a spirit. I'm not at the spirit guide level, you know. Actually wounded. <laughs> Actually, I feel like I've been stabbed. I'm sorry, Tom. I I think you're great, but she hates you, not me. Okay. He's Carry in on. a film called Greyhound, apparently. Maybe I'll like him more. No, you don't. That. You can't just say it now because <laughs> he's in Greyhound. You've, you've stabbed me in the heart and it's too late, okay? Okay. Tom okay. Hanks, we can vibe with her. You're my okay. spirit guide. I don't okay. care what she says. Okay. So I, well, uh, do I have to pick off my list or can I pick off? You can off pick off any of these people. Okay. Well, one that jumped at me was uh, David Bowie and I just think that's an interesting one. Can I ask a question before we empty this? Okay, it's been mm -hmm. something that's plagued me for a long time. Bowie or Bowie? Is that what you're <laughs> <Yes>. going to say? <laughs> I don't know. I've always said Bowie. I, I've i alternated between the two of them, depending on what someone else has said. Which Bowie. means that I'm just, like, sitting on the fence. I mean... It's both, isn't it, really? Because, like... They're both spelt bow and bow, right? I'm not being stupid. They are spelt the yeah. same way, right? I mean, we're dealing with the English language here, which is shit. So... Oh, it's so confusing. Yeah. Anyway, look, I've got my thought here, but go on. Where are we? No, no, no. What? what I d I'm very undecided because, Ooh. like, I obviously respect him as a musician. I just again. Not, not my, he's just, well, I was going to say he's just a bit too skinny, but like, we're not skinny shaming, you're just like, I like something to hold on to, you know? You like um, a, a bit of chunk? A bit of chunk, no I do, like, I don't know. Is that just... why we're friends, because you looked at my ass and was like, yeah. <laughs> I don't, You know when you've got like a skinny friend and you stand next to them and then you just feel huge? You're like, That's all thanks. my friends. <laughs> That's all my friends. I just stand next to any of my friends. I'm like, oh, you're a skinny to reek. Yeah, so I guess I can vibe. I don't know. I can vibe with that because that's, yeah, yeah. That's I, can vibe, kind of... I, can, I vibe can vibe with that. I can vibe with that. I can vibe with that. I w that's where I wanted to put him. I wouldn't flirt with Bowie. Like, I just, I just don't. Wouldn't I don't have think it in I'd me. flirt with him, but I just, I, I've been listening to a lot of. They buried this week because um, they had the whole Mars like oh yeah yeah thing yeah. this week. So they had um, NASA had I think it was Youngblood. I want to say um, they did a cover of um, Life on Mars. So oh, okay. I had it stuck in my head, and basically all week I've been listening to David Bowie. But um, okay, so Fair I enough. think based on that, I, I was going to put him there. Plus, you know, I like his music. So you know, come on, I I can vibe with that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm sensing uh, that this is going to cause some issues in our friendship because already there's been too much, there's been too much, like, distance between us. It's scaring me. Does, what, we just agreed with that. Yeah, I know, but I'm not, I'm still not over Tom Hanks, to be honest. It, okay, okay. I can't let it go. I'm trying, I'm trying, and maybe okay. I'll get there, but. Well, I just, I just don't know enough about the guy, I guess. No, no, no it's fine. Look, you do, okay? You I'll try, do. I'll try to love him more. No, but look, you don't have to love him. Look, if you don't, if you're not feeling it, you're not feeling it. I just wish that you would be feeling it. <laughs> so. Is he your low-key sugar daddy? 
actually you'd be he a bit could more be my sugar daddy was. high key high key <laughs> i don't care like he can just go love for that. it I, I love tom hanks great um so my next one is going to be sigrid oh yeah 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 spirit guide done spirit guide i'm so done. glad you went for spirit guide on this one done fun facts um i actually threw this one into the mix um because i wanted to call her my spirit guide yeah no that's that's fair enough the only thing i would say is that she does look very young Jesus and i don't think Christ. she's she's i don't think she's ever not gonna look young no 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 because from from like being serious imagine if you're like she's actually older than us yeah i think and imagine you're like walking along and everyone thinks it's your little sister like <laughs> but well, it doesn't matter unexpected. okay this is a strange she's 24 no. just want to throw that one out there she is she is 24 um but no definitely spirit guide I can't, absolutely love what, her why do you always have to why i'm just ruining it, it oh, i know why you, sorry why are you coming in here i'm I'm, just like, I'm giving it a fair approach okay, okay? Look, well i i think sigrid is a real vibe um yeah i think oh wow i think that yeah yeah don't kill, my, kill vibe. my vibe <laughs> um i think that sigrid might have been the last gig that i went to before lockdown Oh really? I uh, think so. It was in like I wish I'd December gone to that. or like November, um, no maybe December of like N 2019. Oh um, wait, you went to the Toffees gig though, which was after. But like... That afterwards? That, yeah, because that was a Christmas gig. Was it? Yeah. I, I played fair... Honestly, you know I don't remember anything. But you... Lockdown has fried my memory. So the only reason I can tell you that Sigrid was touring in 2019 is because directly in my eyeline is a poster I bought at that concert with <laughs> 2019 on it. Wow. Okay? Otherwise, I'm just here oblivious. So. But yeah, Sigrid, well I love you. Hi. We love Sigrid. Well, you don't. You just want to shoot her in the face, I... apparently. I love Sigrid. Shut up. Shut up. This. Just, just, Just get another one in there. Okay, okay. Right. I'm I sorry, everyone. Say... I didn't realise that she was going to be so weird like this. I'm just throwing you. Um, oh, Dave Grohl. That's an interesting Dave one. Dave Grohl. Okay, okay. Go on. He's a daddy. Yeah. So that's the thing. He's, he's a dad. Mm -hmm. I want to say spirit guide, but like, I don't... I don't fancy him. He's just like a dad, you know? He, I mean, he, he can he can be my second dad. There we go. He can be a so what you're saying is you could or my with best her. mate. You can you can take your role. <laughs> you can take your position. No, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to let Dave Grohl actually take my position. There's not many people I'd give up this seat for. But if Dave Grohl walks in, I'd be like, you know what? You're better than I could be. He's Sit just down. a geezer, isn't he? He's just. Yes, I think he's he's humble. I've also realised here that we've taken different approaches to the same categories because I've basically disregarded looks altogether here. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Well, that's no, 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 thing I the... like the fact that you're, you're bringing in the looks. That's how this is going to balance this out, you know? Okay. I like Like, this. I just... I mean, Dave Grohl, he is a nice looking guy, just like... Yeah. Not for just, you, not for he's you. He's just not for me. He's just a, he's just a dad. That's fair, that's fair. So are we saying okay. he can vibe with that? What? Or are you saying I, fair dues? Um, I, no, I still think, like, spirit guide, because, like, he is a fucking spirit guide. I just think he's a daddy. Like, he's not... He, yeah. I feel like you're... Okay, I mean, I'm going to put him in the spirit guide column. Okay. But I... Okay. Are you happy with that? Is that is Just that put okay? spirit guide, but would not sleep. <laughs> okay. Okay, Dave Grohl, spirit guide, would not bang. <laughs> we're in, we're in. One okay. of my aunts has got a massive crush on him and definitely would bang, so here you go. <laughs> Amazing. Just out her. Amazing. Um, <laughs> I'm going to throw in... Oh, you know what? She's been in the news this week. Um, Meghan Markle. Meg oh, I knew you were going to say that. Oh, yeah, she's a fitty, but... Yeah, <laughs> she's fitty, but I'm not... I don't really know her personality, so I don't know. I I wouldn't put her like top tier just because I just don't know what she's actually like. But she's kind of uh, stirred everything up. So, um, what's this? Uh, not fair dues. What's the one above fair dues? Uh, I can vibe with that. 
You can vibe with that? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's I like where I'm that. at. I like the fact that she's come in and kind of just... Fucked everything Thrown up. everything up in the air. I don't... I mean, I was... There was some, like, Daily Mail article that ended up on my Facebook feed. Fuck knows how. Um... And it was like, oh, Megan's ruined everything. Oh, yeah. Harry should never. Have... And I was like, fuck off, Harry. Like, Harry's in love with her. I imagine that's why he married her. Yeah, it makes sense. Like, maybe they probably have similar thoughts. Up. Yeah, maybe being a royal family is actually a kind of burden that people don't necessarily want to have to deal with. And so, possible. what they quit their job? Like, what other job would you like? <laughs> Imagine, like, being angry at someone for quitting a job that's making them miserable. Like, fair enough, honestly. I don't... Like, and if it's they're happy, not like he's gonna be king, like... If they're happy, yeah. fucking good. I'm glad. Do what makes you happy. Yeah. Oh, Anthony Hopkins. I don't know. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Wait. I know where I'm placing. Okay, go on. You need serious fucking help. <laughs> like, <laughs> you cannot tell me, like, no, no. <laughs> what are your thoughts? He's quite a good actor. I am I was willing to but put him Silence in fair of the dudes. Lambs. No, because the Silence of the Lambs, you think how creepy, like, that. he's good at his job, right? Good yeah. at his job. Yeah. But, like, in Hannibal, like, you, you, you can't, you can't tell me, oh, you're going, like, oh, yeah. Oh, I love a bit of that. He's so good at acting as a fucking creep. Oh, I love that. Like, no. You've got a problem. Okay. And plus, he's like 80-something. He's at like 83. Like, that's... You know, I can't imagine the people who... Like, the person who put that in is anywhere near that age. So, like... No, I can confirm they're definitely not. Yeah, you, you, you're a wrong and Get help. Jesus <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, Anthony Hopkins. I I think you're quite skilled, but um, on the basis of the facts that you've acted in a few creepy roles, we're putting you in. You need serious help. He's a sir. I've just seen that. He's a well, sir. Well, yeah, he's a sir, and you put him in. You need serious help. So there you go. Queen's yeah, probably going to come I, round and kill you. I think I think he'd accept that. No, I yeah. think he would. Because I think he'd be like, okay, well. She doesn't like me be because I'm good at my job. Fair enough. Okay, but we are we are saying he's good at his job. Can I do we Oh yeah. Okay, good at fine. his job. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, in that in that case I can support this and I, I have no further questions. Okay. <laughs> my next one is David Tennant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I I mean I I definitely fancied David Tennant growing up. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know, <laughs> but mm -hmm. I think, like, I watched a video of him winning the Lifetime Award or Lifetime Achievement or some award, um, and he was, like, welled up and he was all emotional and it was so cute and, like, yeah, I think I can vibe with that. I don't know if he's spirit guide level, but, okay. yeah. Okay, well, look, okay, I've, I've sat back on a lot of these, but I have to insist that David Tennant enters spirit guide okay, okay i can this I is can, for yeah, multiple yeah. reasons first of all i think i would i think i'd you go would? there okay he's quite an attractive man um yeah, yeah, he's very no, good he at is. his job he's very cool he's look i just feel like if we're not allowing david tennant into the spirit guide level here i don't want to continue doing this podcast Okay, no, I I will live that will live with that. You know, my only thing. So like, he is he's is very attractive. It's a skinny thing again. It's a skinny thing. Yeah, he is he is skinny. I can't like, believe you're shutting down the and, being skinny. And... <laughs> I cannot believe this. It's just because I've I've got broad shoulders and I am a strong gal and I know that it's wrong of me, but I I like to know that like the person I'm with is. I can I can like snap them in half by just like playfully shoving them or something. Are, like, are you yeah. saying you could break David Tennant? Oh yeah. Oh okay. yeah. Without even trying. Well, this was not Whoa, that sounded a bit this. sexual. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, okay. Spirit guys, David Tennant, keep your eyes out because um, cat might be coming to literally snap you in half. <laughs> Stop. Jesus uh... Christ. Okay. So, <laughs> Gordon Ramsay. 
I think that's... Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. Go on. Uh, I want to say a fair dues. Cuz like That's already not... better than I thought you were going to say. He's not unattractive. He's quite funny and like I've seen it, so he's on his daughter's TikTok a lot. Yes. And he's quite funny with that and um I like I think you know Controversially, I'm going to say he's aged well. I would say on the whole. Yes. I I knew I can't remember who it was. Someone I went to uni with um had a a weird they called it a weird crush on Gordon Ramsay, and this day I was like, come on now, you can't be saying this. But you know what? Over the years, I I've come to see him as a yeah. I can. And he was that. making TV. I mean, it's like um sort of if you went to a fat boot camp in America. You know you're going to get called every name under the sun. And, like, just because you're putting it in a chef, like, a food situation, why does it make him suddenly a bad... I'm not agreeing with all the things he said, but at the same time, it's, like, a lo it's, it's all for TV. So I'm sure he's not doing that. I think the thing that I love person. about it is that, like, you've seen the meme, right, of, like, like him on um, Kids Master, like, Junior Master Chef. Yeah, where he's like, got and, the he's really and he's like, nice. no, 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 it's okay, it's okay, don't worry about it. And then he's like in the kitchen on Hell's Kitchen, or whatever. And he's just like, you fucking donkey. And yeah. I'm like, <laughs> honestly, that just makes me love him more. You know, he's not just unnecessarily exactly. mean. Like he can, he's actually quite a nice person when when he, he like he can be. So I don't, yeah. I don't know where are we. Where does this leave him? Are we, are we saying fair dues because? I don't. Yeah, because I I don't. He's somewhere between fair dues and I can vibe with that, isn't he? Yeah. I'm going yeah. to put you towards the top end. Yeah, the, I think I can... Dues. I Okay, fair dues. Oh, okay. No, you want to go You want to go for that? I can vibe with that? Yeah. Could it be? Yeah, nice. Yeah, no, I'm I'm feeling generous. Like. Oh, that's good. I just it's like good you found your generous side his... all of a sudden. <laughs> How weird. Hang on. I've not been that harsh. I just, I just feel like you were too mean to Tom Hanks, to be honest with you, but that's all right. Yeah, I'm still bitter. And what? Would you actually sleep with him, though? With Tom Hanks? Yeah. Absolutely not. Oh. He's too... He's too <laughs> exactly! He's too nice. He's too... He's, he's too, too nice. Pure. Sorry, also, I can't sleep with you. Not, You're too nice. <laughs> he's, just, he's just not my, my kind of thing. However, as a person, he is my spirit guide. I've told you, I've gone beyond looks on this one. Yeah. Okay. I've just, I've abandoned okay. looks here. I feel okay. like some people look beautiful, but can also be colossal dickheads. And I can't put them in the spirit guide cascara on a base. I don't think we have any here, but, you know. I just can't. Yeah. I just can't, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. okay. fair enough. Um... Who are we on now? Is it your turn or my Yours. turn? Yours. My turn? I, okay. Wait, I think, yeah, I, I said Gordon Ramsay, so yeah. Okay. Turn. Uh, I'm going for Florence from Florence and the Machine. Right. Mixed feelings, straight away. Wouldn't sleep with her. Um, you wouldn't? Straight out of the gate, you wouldn't? No, she's a bit neurotic, if you hadn't noticed. Um, But love her. Um, Yeah, so... But then also, like, spirit guide, because I think... Ugh, if that's, yeah, for you, it's like the Tom Hanks thing, I guess. She's just a very talented musician and she's Oh, but weird. you wouldn't sleep with her. No, exactly. I wouldn't sleep with her. I mean, she's a bit, um, yeah. She's a bit of a mum, actually. Is bit she a mum? I, I don't think so. I mean, she's old enough to be a mum. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what is that? I, I knew this would be an issue. Oh, God. Why did I say yes to this idea? I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry about what this is going to become. I, 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 okay, oh, you know Oh, she's younger what? than I thought. She's younger than I thought. No, no, no. I How think old is she? How old is she? She's 34. She's 34. Okay, you know what? I'm going to come in strong on this. So I'm just going to Spirit guide. In. I'd sleep with Florence. I think she's pretty good looking. I like her vibe. I like the fact she's honest about her struggles. Yes, yeah, she's a bit neurotic, but who the fuck isn't? Um, she's a spirit <laughs> guide. I'm in. This is me. Hello. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll agree with that. I realise yeah. I just need to take a hard line approach to this. I feel like it's the only way that I'm going to get through this is just by 
defending the people who need to be defended. Okay. Um, I want to go with a bit of a, a oh, rogue right. one, which is Stephanie Beatrix, uh, Rosa Diaz from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Mm-hmm. Um, I love her. Mm-hmm. And she's so cool. Mm-hmm. So I would say um, I can vibe with that. I love her. She's so cool. I can vibe with that. Yeah. So what what's what's stopping her from getting to spirit guide level? Because I haven't seen enough of her. You know? Like hang on, but if you think of who we've put in spirit guide, like Sigrid, like mm-hmm. Dave Grohl, mm-hmm. like um mm-hmm. I mean even Tom Hanks, like he you know, like No no, no Tom all... Hanks isn't in Spirit Guide. You've made that abundantly clear oh, to me. For fuck's sake. But um all of these people are like we love them for like various different things. Whereas Yeah, Rosa you want to bang them and I like their personalities. <laughs> I don't want to bang You're them. You're here with your horn dog attitude. <laughs> the horn dog phase is gone now. We did that one. Right. Well, I just think I haven't seen enough of her, so she's in I can vibe with that. What about you? This is fair. I mean I've seen a little bit more. I think I saw say so I like the facts that in Brooklyn Nine Nine she plays this character and you kind of expect that her real persona might be somewhat similar to that for some reason yeah for Um, sure but i've seen interviews with her like just real life and her voice is incredibly different like yeah yeah (laughs) whoa it's different and like she just again she seems so nice and wholesome she's just nice isn't she yeah she's wholesome i like i think she's really good at acting like she plays rosa very well like to the point where you could assume that in real life she's there sharpening knives off camera yeah um but I can understand where you're coming from here. You don't know enough. That's fair. I'm, yeah. I'm willing to accept I can vibe with that. Okay, sure. But no lower. No, no, no. I'm not saying any lower. Okay. I'm in my place. As you should be. Hi, Coldplay. We love you. Yep. Um, <laughs> you, you'll see us singing along. <laughs> I couldn't. I was like, don't do it, don't do it. Okay, I've done it. I'm going to go for Roman Kemp. Oh yeah, I had to put a picture because I didn't know who this was. I still don't know who this is. Oh. Um, I won't lie to you, I went for him because he was on your list and I thought maybe you'd have a... No, so some pictures I'm like, mm, and other pictures I'm like, hmm. So, yeah, I actually might Google who he actually is because I just found a picture of him. Okay. Um, do you know anything about him? No, do you? Um, A little bit. Oh, we've done stuff about um, male mental health and suicide. Oh, done a I didn't know that. Okay, well, he, that that puts him up. He's got silly hair. He's got silly hair, okay. Um. Oh, he's a radio host. Capital FM. Okay, okay. So, I probably know him more for that. But yeah, I don't really know enough. I mean, he's an okay looking lad, I guess. Like, so he's... I'm going to offend some people. I'm going to go for it. He, he's that standard teenage, like, white, Heartthrob. blonde boy. Yeah, he's that one he that is. all the girls are like, oh, my God. And all the, the young posters girls. on the wall. They're like, oh, yeah. I love him. And I'm just there like... I think fair dues. Like, I, th- I think he sounds like a respectable guy. So. He sounds respectable. We don't know enough. And I, I think he looks basic, so... Yeah, you basic. Fair bitch. dues. Sorry, Roman, but you're basic. You're, you're basic. <laughs> Can't believe oh, I've done that, but there we go. Okay, um, I'm interested by this one. Robert Pattinson. I, I had a feeling this was coming next. Is Did I you? Mean, okay, let's think about this. Alright. I chose a very nice picture for the, um, the You did, Google you picture. did. Yeah. I'm going to be controversial, and I don't think you're going to like it, but you might do. I'm going to go fair dues. Yeah, no, no, no. I would. I, he looks Excellent. really anemic in a lot of things, <laughs> which, you he know, does you look, look at someone. Unhealthy. And you, yeah, you're like, you look unhealthy. Like, have a vitamin pill. Like, come on. I don't... <laughs> he looks like and... he's about 10 minutes away from developing rickets or something. Like, <laughs> Chris. I, just, I, I feel. Oh, what? so now we've got the problem, huh? <laughs> now it's an issue, but everything else we've said is fine. 
He does. He needs some vitamin D. He needs a supplement. He or does. He's but a natural great. vampire. Like, <laughs> no. And the other thing, uh, I've told you this before. I mean, I love Jack Whitehall, and um, you have, and you have. and he does this bit. You know, he said he went to school with Robert Pattinson. Yeah, Pattinson, yeah, yeah. And you know, he like, I actually prefer Jack Whitehall in terms of looks. He's too skinny yeah. for me, but I, oh, Christ. but I just think you know. If he's, I, I, I'm confused about why Robert Pattinson's the heartthrob. And actually, Jack... you know what? You know what? I'm actually gonna go lower. Yeah. Okay. I'm actually now. No, I've changed my mind. I've actually thought about this, and my vote has now changed. I'll tell you, I'm not judging you. However, I'm, oh, we haven't I'm willing even to done leave. that. Yeah. No. 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 I will. Yeah. I agree with that. We haven't even used that category. I think yet, he's overrated. So... You know. I think yeah. he's overrated. I mean, everyone's like, oh, he's attractive, and I'm like, he, he's ill. He needs help. Um, I'm gonna have a look at a recent photo of him because that one was from like the Twilight. I think thing. I saw a photo of him once. He looks really unwell. And I think that's probably the image that stuck with me more. It's like him wearing like a cap or something, and like he's got this like a t-shirt on. It looks like he's probably just going about his everyday life. But I was like, oh god. Oh yeah, he doesn't look healthy. Christ. No. I think what we're saying here is that you know we'll tell you that we're not judging you, but we are. What's scary yeah. is that in some, like, um, <laughs> in some photos of him from Twilight where he's literally got white paint on his face, he looks healthy. <laughs> yeah. Weirdly. It's amazing how that works. Also, I'm going to be, um, I'm going to, I'm going to say it, but I think he could be too skinny. Mm. I think it could be too much. I think it's the facts that I look at. I mean, I'm looking at my face right now here, okay? I don't think we could call this chiseled. Um, but I like my face. I just feel like Robert Pattinson really needs to pop down to McDonald's, couple of Big Macs in his system, just just fasten up a little bit, give him a little bit of a, you know, something there, and then then we'll chat. But until then, I am judging you. It's weird how that one went. Huh? Yeah, did that not, was interesting. Did not see that one coming. That's the first time I've actually just willingly bumped them down. All right, I'm going to take the hit on this one. Okay, okay. All right. It's going to go badly for me. Oh, no. You know what I'm going to say. Chris Martin. Oh, Spirit Guide. I am I actually, yeah. Wouldn't... I was actually having this conversation with um, Pierce the other day. And you know, he like, wouldn't sleep with him, but would go to the pub. <laughs> like, no, Spirit Guide. The, I mean, uh, Chris Martin, easy. as you know, where he is a... Uh, the lead singer of a band I quite like. Um, you may have heard of them. They're called Coldplay. Um, they're called Warm Stop. They're called Warm <laughs> Stop. They're actually quite popular despite everyone saying that they hate them. So square that circle. Um, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't sleep with Chris Martin. But um, no. <laughs> honestly, like if you told me right now, do you want Chris Martin's number? He said he'd be willing to chat to you. I'd be like, fuck yes. And yep. I'd probably tell everyone else, guys, I'm never talking to you again. I only yeah. ever need to talk to Chris Martin. And he I went out with Jennifer that. Lawrence. Like, like that's pretty... That's fucking... That was weird. Mm. Plus, anyone who oh, finally sees the light and, you know, realises fucking Gwyneth Paltrow, let's yeet her out of the way. Jesus. I wonder what the final straw was. I have to imagine it was, like, the vagina candle or something. But, um, <clears throat> whatever it was, Chris, top work, you know. You, Gwyneth was not the one for you. Um... I love how you. they're still like friends and they like go to Sunday lunches and stuff together and they like really co parent properly. Like, that's yeah, cute. It's nice, it's cute. But also, well done for divorcing her. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with an interesting one here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. Alright, okay. Now, go on, hit me with your opinion here. Nah just that's that's literally my comment nah what just now nah? like you're not going to give us anything else to work on then not really no nah. they're just he's just meh he's just a bit meh isn't he well where does that put him there's no meh category okay well <laughs> you're saying fair um, dues is this, is this the equivalent here uh no i i think i'm gonna say um Ooh. i'll tell you i'm not judging you but i am fair um, or, or no maybe fair do i don't know no, I he's he's a bit odd. Yeah, no, I think I'm gonna say I'm not judging you, but I am. 
Fair enough. I, you know, I like him as Iron Man. I think he's good, but I didn't really know enough about him. So, um, he, he gets added to the, I'll tell you, I'm not judging you, or as I'm calling it, the Robert column, because that's basically what it is so far. <laughs> oh dear. Oops, I just head butted the mic. Um, I was just going to see how how tall he is, because I feel like he's going to be really short. Oh no, this isn't the height thing, is it? Don't, don't do the height thing, because I always score badly on the height thing. How tall are you? Not tall enough. I've not looked at you and thought you're really fucking short, though, like. It's just not good enough. It's the hair. The hair throws you off. Because you see the hair and you're like, oh, Chris is actually here. And you take the hair away and you're like, oh. Who stunted oh. your growth? <laughs> All right. We're going in strong here. And I, you know, I, I'll just give you my opinion out of the game. So I'm going for Adam Sandler. And mm. I would like to officially say here and now that he needs serious help. Thank you. Yeah. Pierce actually really hates him. I vibe with that. I've like, apparently he's got like the same friendship group of like since he was like since he was a kid or whatever and stuff, which oh. I think shows that he's probably like a good person because I feel unless his friends are bad people, <laughs> but um, possible. I don't. I don't think he's a a bad person, but he's just not. He's not. He's not the one, is he? <laughs> he's not the one. He's not the one. He's not. I, I don't think he's got the looks on his side. Sadly, if that's what we're going for here, um, he annoys the fuck out of me. And once um, you've heard one joke, you've heard them all. Yeah, I just. It's not for me. He's not for me. But then, oh, I'm I'm throwing one in here because I haven't actually added anyone in. Uh, Jennifer Aniston, because they get on very well. Jennifer and Aniston. I watch Adam Sandler films because she's in them uh -huh. so like i feel like you have to have an opinion on her if you've got an opinion on him um i guess i'd go fair dues no yeah i'm questioning your sexuality how can you <laughs> <laughs> how... how can what have you got eyes like She's a ten out of ten. Like, is it <laughs> good? Oh dear! You're questioning. <laughs> yeah, I'm questioning your sexuality. How can you? How can you turn down good old Jenny from the block? No, not Jenny from I the just, block. I just like <laughs> look. I'm not saying she's bad looking. She's quite attractive, and she is you know? aged well. That woman, she's... everything stands in the right places. You know. Yeah, I just. Do you yeah. think she's too basic looking? No, I just think she's... I just, Overrated. She's, yeah, I just... I, if she wasn't around, um, I don't think my life would suffer for it. Um. But I'm not saying I don't want her to be around. <laughs> I'm just saying that... So she if she asked for your number, you'd be like, as friends, maybe. Well, I'd, I'd probably ask her if she's feeling okay. And <laughs> ask if she wanted to be sectioned. Because clearly she would be to be asking for my number. Like, that's just odd and weird. And I'd be like, are you... Is it... Has there been some tough times going on? Is that why you come to... To this? Like... To, to pain? <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. But you know, look, like, I feel like you wanted to come in with a spirit guide here. Yeah. I mean, I can meet you in the middle and we can, we can vibe. Okay. Do you want a vibe? Okay. I mean, yeah. we can go spirit. Like, if you're feeling strong about this, no, I'm no, willing no. to. Like, I I feel like I forced you into giving me spirit Tom guide Hanks. on a couple. Okay. So, this is this is like the Tom Hanks for me. Like, I feel fair okay. enough. Look, okay. spirit guide. Okay. Jennifer's in spirit guide. I'm. She's all right. <laughs> Moving on. I feel like I'm <laughs> I'm gonna make enemies unless you. Yeah, we're gonna fall out. Oh, it's a risky game. Okay, I'm gonna go for Idris Elba. I I think fair dues. Oh, okay. Love I know, I like a lot say. of people. What did you think I was gonna say? A lot of people. I thought fight. you were gonna say you could vibe with that. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. No, no, no. Why? Why? Why any fair dues? I'm, I'm interested. Well, he's the right size, which is which is good. He's a nice, 
It's the right size. He's got a little bit of um, yeah, he's broad shouldered. He's you know. I don't again. It, it's sort of dad vibes. Is and I just I don't know that put like. It worked well for Dave Grohl, so maybe I shouldn't be. I just don't. I know Dave Grohl a lot better. Mm-hmm. But then Idris Elba is definitely a better person than Dave Grohl, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Burned. Um, what do you think? I mean, again, I was going to go for I can vibe with that, but okay, I think I can vibe with that. No, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm willing to go fair dues. If that's if that's where you want to end up on this one, yeah, I just we can go for it. Look, I'm gonna go for it. Fair dues. But he's a nice height. He's six two and a half. So damn son. Yeah, and he's and he's muscular. He is. He is. Who do I want to go? I'm just for? staring at him now. Like I'm just. <laughs> Are you falling in love with him? I think it's the facial hair. Like it's just he's he's in an in between. He's not gone full beard and full tash. He's gone like hot. I, you know, you like be decisive, do one or the other. Mhm. Oh, am I, is it my turn or your? It turn? is. It is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. All right. Hmm. Yeah. I'll um. I'll tell you, I'm not judging him, but I definitely am. See, I used to fancy him. A mm-hmm. lot because mm-hmm. of Sherlock. A lot. And he's friends with um James Rhodes, a pianist that I love. Oh who... okay. Yeah, well you yeah, you obviously know him and he wrote uh James Rhodes wrote a really good book. Um so that made me love him even more. But mm-hmm. then everyone kept saying Max looks like Benedict Cumberbatch, which then <laughs> I don't see it. I don't see it. I've got to be honest. But it it's, really freaked me out. So it's now no it's no offense like... to Max, but I don't think he he's. I don't think he looks like Benedict Cumberbatch. I mean, it shouldn't be an offense to Max. See, and the, but the thing is, I can't say like I say I'm not judging you, but I am because I was there once, and now it's all Max's fault. So I'm in the fair dues, I'd say, because like I've been there. That's fair. I mean. I mean, I guess he's not a Robert, so that he's not a Robert out of that column. But um, no, I, I don't think he's know. I well. He's a he's very that. talented person as well. Like I, d- I, I'm not. I just don't, I don't think uh, good old Robbie is um is quite as talented as Benedict. Yeah, Benny. Oh, I mean, I just find him a bit. He's one of those like. Oh God! It's going to show my true colours yet again. Um. He's just like one of those like public school boys. Like, he is quite good. At, I'm mm. not saying he's got to where he has because of his background, because I, I think he is actually quite good at acting and all the rest of it. But I just like, he like he's been around at the same time as like Eddie Redmayne and Tom Hilston and all of these people, and it's like, oh Christ, you're all fairly well off white English guys. Like, I'm kind of done with that energy right now. Um, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I can allow fair dues. I yeah. Like. I just, you know, I, I could, I could live without Benedict Cumberbatch. Do you want to choose wild the card one? for you? Okay. Um, Gareth Southgate. Do I know that one personally? Like Gareth Southgate too. is the manager of the England football team. Oh yeah, I do know that guy. See, this is the thing. Terrible, terrible with names. Terrible, honestly. Uh, oh no, you've got a problem. Yeah, I do do know that geezer. That's so bad. I used to like love football so much, and now I have no interest. I was gonna say, I was like, I thought this would be right up your like. No. Thing. Not at all. No, I. I. This, this is the thing. I was so obsessed with football when I was younger. Yeah. And now, I just hate it really. Fair play. Welcome to my world. It's just the culture of it all. Like I love like the idea of playing football. I actually thought about, you know, joining football team again, stuff like that when COVID's over and done with. But I just hate it's just like shit. It's literally like bad reality T V show these days and I just, eh, just Yeah. It's not even yeah. 
I can't believe I forgot who he was, so that's embarrassing. I enjoyed yeah. it. I enjoyed it. I mean, look, the one... You know when you're like, I know that name, and I know it's something to do with football, but I have not, like, he could have been a play, could have been anything. Like, that's how switched off I am these days. That's fair. I mean... I just don't... The weird thing about this is, right, so I was, like, despite not really being interested in football, like, when the World Cup was on and stuff, like, it's kind of hard to miss. Like, it was just there. It was oh, the I love watching the World Cup, yeah, but that's just, like, a cult. Like yeah, I think it's just like it? everyone else is doing it. It's like, well, I can't watch it because at least that way I can have conversations with people about it. Like, you know. Um, yeah. But I've got to say, the one, like, that man wears a waistcoat well. You... Right? Yeah, okay, okay. Like, he looks good in a waistcoat. I don't know if you've, you've seen him in a waistcoat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he but, only like, wears he... a waistcoat. <laughs> it's just like, he looks good. Like, that was a man that was like... You're looking good, son. Like, you, you got dressed well in the morning, is what I'm saying. It's his hair. But, I, uh, yeah, I, at the same time, I don't feel and like his I face. wouldn't. I he wouldn't. has a long face. No, I, I wouldn't go there. But he does look good in a waistcoat. And I, I feel like he's quite nice. Like, what I've seen of him, he's quite nice. So I don't know where that puts him. Like, fair D's, maybe? I would go lowered, but, like, this is more on a uh, looks than a personality, I guess. Like, you know no, what? It's... it's underpopulated. We can put him in the... Un... i tell you I'm not judging you if that's what you okay. want to do. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, God. Um, mm, Margot Robbie. Okay. All right. Um, I forgot Margot Robbie's on here for a second. I mean, okay. I think she's quite good looking. I, I yeah. don't think it would be strange for me to say that. I think that's that's fairly well agreed on. Um, I think she's quite good at what she does. Um, she's got I guess very, I just don't know enough mouth. about her to be like. I couldn't go spirit guy because I just don't know enough. No, and that's the thing—you don't want to like just judge it on looks, do you? Oh, I mean, you don't want to judge it just on looks. No, no, no like mm. there's always something else, you know. Um, I. I'd say, like, fair do's, or I can vibe with that, because, like, she's undeniably pretty, and, you know, she's she's good at her job. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She's been married now for five years, apparently. I I use that as a way of judging people, like... I noticed this, you've used it a couple of times, it's the, um, the commitment. No, because, like... yeah, it is, like, I, I don't know, like... It, people can choose to like I know people who've been with their partners for like 10 years and they haven't got married and they actively don't like want to get married because that's like you know how they no, that's fair. That, that's a, and I, I completely respect that but yeah. I feel like you can use marriage as a way of seeing what somebody's like because if you've been married for 10 years you have there's been commitment there and there's been like you've had to do a lot to get to where you are and work on yourself because there's no way I don't know unless you're like millionaires and you live in different houses and you don't speak to each other like no matter like what you have to work on yourself to make the relationship work so yeah. i do i do use plus that. if you're like living in different houses all the time and barely speak are you even really married like exactly yeah don't know um okay i'm gonna say quick fire okay i'm gonna give you three Oh, no. And you just got to give me your initial thought, okay? Okay. And I'll give you mine, and then that will just decide based on that, okay? Okay. It's a, it's a new, it's a risky one. It could, it could see people go into the wrong category. I, I feel like I like it. Okay. First one, Anthony Joshua. Oh no, he's a fitty. Um, yeah, probably spirit guy. He seems spirit like. Guide. A, yeah. I back that. I back that. Um, Kristen Stewart. E. Yeah, you got. Uh, d- mm, eh, mm, uh, I tell you, not judging you, but I am. Yeah, I think we should reunite them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and prepare yourself. Let's give you one of two ways. Johnny Depp. Eh, mm, I tell you, not judging you, but I am. Okay. Do you want to? Should I do? Should I do a quick, quick fire, fire for me? Okay, let me just... I quite like it. I think it adds a new flavour to it, you know? Okay, I can... Okay, I'm, I've got... I've got... Okay, Sam Fender. Uh, I can vibe with that. Nick Jonas. Nick Jonas? Uh, 
Fair Dees. And Zac Efron. Oh, Christ. Um, I'll tell you, I'm not judging you, but I definitely am. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree with all of them, really. Oh. Yeah. Nice. I just feel like Zac Efron is a bit like... Oh, they I don't know. know like, he's I don't... pretty, but... He's pretty, but he's basic. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's basic. He, he gives off basic vibes. Do you want another um, quick fire three? Sure, this is like uh, assuming I'm going to know who they are straight away. I, I, I hope you would. I, 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 I would be surprised if you didn't. Um, Angelina Jolie. Eh. Um, oh, wait, no, I don't like it because of the whole Brad Pitt, Jennifer. Uh, uh, mm, fair dues, it, that's generous, I think, because I don't really like her. No, I think maybe... Uh, okay, I'll go with fair dues. you go with fair dues? Okay, fair. Yeah. Um, Rihanna. Oh, uh, I can... Oh, Spirit Guide or I can vibe with that. Somewhere in between. Okay, I'm going to put that towards the top end of... I yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Okay. And, um, oh, I've never known how to say his name. It's not going to change now. Keanu. Niall no? Horan. Need, oh, like, Ni Niall Horan? <laughs> what like, you... Niall Horan? <laughs> I don't know. That, that, that um, guy from One Direction. Oh, a absolutely not. Uh, 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 I tell you I'm not judging you, but I am. Damn. Bruce and I love it. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay, I've got them. Okay, Beyonce? Beyonce? Uh, fuck it, Spirit Guide. Emma Watson? Uh, I can vibe with that. And Zendaya? Fuck it, Spirit Guide. Yeah. Yeah, no, would, would, would agree. Oh. Zendaya is a beauty. Yeah. Have you seen the new advert of the perfume advert? She's riding a horse or some shit. You're like, fuck's sake. You're like, well, I, d I don't even know what you're selling anymore. Just, <laughs> oh, and I had one submission submitted to me three times. Can you guess who it was? Um, was it Pierce? Yeah. All right, ready to go. Pierce, go on. Are we going Spirit Guide? You going Spirit Guide? Well, I kind of, kind of. I go of... Spirit Guide plus. He's in the same category <laughs> for me. Absolute <laughs> fucking legend. Good, I liked that, you know? That was... Yeah, no, that was fun. You know, I can actually get behind this list. Now that I've seen where people are falling, Yeah. I approve a lot more of our, our choices. I, I'm willing to see Tom Hanks there. I think that's fair. I yeah. feel like I'm probably going to listen back to what I've said and regret. Or... Oh, well. It's too late not regret. Not, not regret where I've put people, but what I've said. It's fine. Skin the magic shaming. of editing means that I can make us look like angels. Okay, please do that. I always try. So Remove far I've fact. not left in the bit where I, you know, that bit where I said about. Um, so, my question this week was, again, random, came from nowhere, really odd. I asked people what the strangest dream they had recently was. Okay. So. Did you get any sex dreams? I want to know. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I did get a sex dream here. Yeah? Um, so <laughs> this person said, I was secretly having sex in my parents' room in my childhood house with a guy that wanted to date me when I was younger, and his dad offered oh. my parents money to have me. Don't ask. I don't get it. I haven't seen him in like seven years. I don't know. His dad offered, wait, so she was offered money to sleep with this guy? Wait. No. I think what happened here was, well, I'm unclear. I feel like... So the guy that wanted to date them when they were younger, that was obviously real. Um, yeah. For having sex with... I'm confused actually as to whether this guy's dad offered her parents money in the dream to have sex, or if his dad offered her parents money in real life to date her. I don't know. This is really, like, detailed, and it seems like it should be meaningful. Well, if I mean, if, if that's... There's a lot of my dreams that are very weird, so let's not dig into meanings. I'm probably... My dreams are probably telling me that I'm Satan reincarnated or something. Um, yeah, weirdly, there was only that one sex dream. I was That's expecting more. I was expecting more. Um, 
Ah, oh, okay, this is a, an odd one. Someone married a goat, then got eaten by it, and the goat gains the person's characteristics, so they became a goat man. And every time it consumed a person or animal, it partly became that thing. It was very horrifying by the end. I <laughs> Can you imagine if someone's, um, you know, they have those sleep uh, apps where they record your like movement and what you're saying. Oh, I stuff. have those. Can yeah, you imagine? Yeah. That would be so funny. Like, goat, no, don't eat me. <laughs> it's bizarre, right? That's so uh... weird. All right, here's just a sad one. Um, my ex came and said sorry. Oh. That's quite well, sad. Well, fuck your ex. If they haven't said sorry, then they're probably a penis. True. Yeah. Um, my sister told me a story about her ex this week, um, and they are a penis. Um, we don't like you. We don't like you. You're the fucking worst. I hope you're listening. Cause... I hope you're listening, and I hope you hear this and realise that I'm talking about you. You're the worst. Um, you suck. Yeah. You made my sister sad. We don't like with, you. With peace and love, you suck. Best, best wishes and kind regards. You're the fucking worst. Um... Here's one. I had to assassinate Henry VIII, but I was Anna Kendrick, and I had to go to an opera instead. That's such an odd dream. <laughs> it's just like such odd people to have. I love this because it, it made me feel a bit nicer about my dreams being so fucking weird. Because we were yeah. talking before this started about how, um, especially being on antidepressants, your dreams just become so weird and vivid and like bizarre they can be like really good like i've had dreams i've woken up had the best dream ever realize it's not real and gone oh. uh oh and i've actually been quite sad the rest of the day because it's not real and i've also had horrible like nightmare realm dreams that are disgusting um but it's, this just makes me feel better because it's like huh it's not just that my brain's messed up everyone's brain is is weird um what have we got here yeah. Do you talk in your sleep? I can't yes. remember if we've had this conversation. Yes, I do. Yes. But I... Is it just gibberish or do you actually like form um, It doesn't make much... It, it often can come out in a sentence, but it doesn't really make much sense. And I'm not sure... It Well, the things that I have like, woken up in the morning and like listened back to are not the things that relate to the dreams that I remember having that night. Oh, that's so weird. And it's very odd and very weird, and I've said some bizarre things, but I don't even... That was before I was even on the antidepressants. Like, I've always just... For some reason, my brain doesn't yeah. go to sleep. It's like, oh, hey, here's some stuff. Don't you hate it when you've had some, like, really vivid dreams, and then you wake up more tired because... Oh, the whole it's horrible. Time you're like, like, you're exhausted from it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, it's mental. I hate it. The other day, I really freaked Pierce out because I, I'm, i like, a bit of a weirdo in my sleep, like... You're a sometimes... bit of a weirdo not in your sleep as well, too. <laughs> but, like, like next-level weirdos, <laughs> apparently. I think I've been lying on my arm because my whole... I get really bad pins and needles, mm -hmm. and obviously when I sleep, I don't, I don't have the conscious thought to move around. So my arm, from, like, my fingertips to, the, like, to my shoulder was completely dead. And I vaguely remember this happening, um, but apparently I rolled over, um, like sort of sat up, grabbed my arm by my wrist, like gra used my other hand to grab my wrist, lifted my hand up, placed it down on the other side of me, <laughs> stared, pierced dead in the eye and said, I can't feel my arm. <laughs> and then went back to sleep. Oh my god. I like picked my arm up because I couldn't like I couldn't move it. I just... The human brain is a weird weird place. Like I have no words for how weird it is. Yeah, I just I felt that really made me laugh. I actually sat there and laughed for about 10 minutes straight cuz I kind of remembered it happening and you know you're like I'm a bloody freak. That's just so I love it. Honestly that that makes me smile. I love it. it. I just love the fact I was staring dead at, like, dead at Pierce and was That's just like... Brilliant. I can't feel my arm. 
Oh, sorry. Back to what you were saying. I mean, I've, I've mentally, I feel like I, I've, I'm still stuck on that. Okay. Um. So this one, it's a bit of a long one. This morning, I had a dream my granddad was on trial. I don't know why, and I had to testify. But for some reason, I didn't have any shoes. My stepmom was like, "I've got some you can borrow, but not until you've testified." And then my brain skips the testifying, and I went back to my stepmom and asked for the shoes, and she gave me one black heel and a white canvas shoe. That's really odd. <laughs> it's very, it's very well developed. I like it. There's a full like story going on there. I mean, that's one yeah. I want to read into. Like, why did your stepmom say you can only have the shoes after you've been to court? Like, is is this saying your stepmom just never fulfills your needs? She oh. teases you, like. Damn, son. Go big yeah. or go home. God. <laughs> um. She's oh, one. that could be like quite deep in the sense that like. Um, because she's given you odd shoes, it's representative of her being a stepmom and not a complete oh, mom. Oh, God. You know? Damn, son. Someone's Nick. going out to become a psychologist. Um, <laughs> so, no, I haven't read this one. Um, me and my girlfriends did a Freaky Friday. I was in court, brackets, she works at a law firm. It was way too stressful. Understandable. A Freaky Friday? Yeah, you know, when they, like, switch bodies. Oh, I thought that meant some, like, sex thing. Jesus Christ, no, I told you, the sex dream was, it's just one. It was <laughs> only the one sex dream sent in, fuck's sake. Okay. Get sex off your mind, honestly. You still think about Jennifer Aniston, that's what's happened to you. Yeah. You are now, aren't you? Yeah, I mean... Fucking yeah. porn dog, man. Um... Okay, I dreamt I married Prince Caspian, as in from Narnia, and got married in Care Paravel, the castle in Narnia. That's they, cute. They dreamt they were in Narnia. I, I love that. That's also, a nice like, one. Well, did they dream their own characters or did they dream no, no, the that, that, film that's characters? It. What I've given you is the exact okay. detail provided. Okay. I don't know. Um, yeah. Is what it is. Um, this is from this is from my friend Beth, um, and I can say it because, um, well, okay. So, I had a dream that I forgot to release more cows on my Etsy page, and then everyone got super angry at me. Aww. Um, this is now relevant because Beth has an Etsy page where she makes like clay shout creations. Out. It's a shout out. It's pretty cool. I would go check it out if I was you. It's Do you ever dream thing. that you're um, like late for something? Like you, you wake up before your alarm and Constantly. you've got this like sick feeling. Yes. That that dream really, like her dream reminds me of that where you're like, shit. I had a like, dream where, I don't know if I ever told you about it. I, I had a dream. <laughs> had a, I had a dream. No, well I did. <laughs> it was a dream where I ended up having a massive argument with my dad. Don't remember what it was. I felt terrible and I woke up and... I was convinced it had happened. Like, I was so sure it happened in real life. So I spent this whole day going around feeling awful. Like, yeah. terrible. Because I was like, oh, you're just such a dick, man. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? And like, I felt like I had to apologise. And then <laughs> it just kind of dawned on me eventually. And I was like, that was a dream. You didn't... Yeah, like, I asked him, I was like, have we had an argument? And he was like, No. That's not, that's not happened. That's it. Uh, oh, okay. And I like, it was so weird. Like immediately the anxiety just melts away. And it's like, oh yeah, it's a dream. Oh, that's nice. Oh, but I spent this whole day going around with massive fear of like, why did I do that? Why did I say those things? Why did I do it? just didn't happen. It's when you're saying something and then you realise it was a dream because it doesn't make any sense. That's the thing. Like it dawned, like I was at uni at the time, right? I was in <laughs> Birmingham. And so you like, called your dad up to argue with him. I would have had to call him up, but in my mind, I'd done this in person. You know, <laughs> like it was before he'd gone to work or something. I was just like, I really, I was so convinced. I was so willing to believe it until yeah. I mentioned it. And then it was like, no, no, you're a weirdo, actually. Um, a couple more for you. This is okay. one from my sister. Um, so she dreamt that you. Ellen DeGeneres died. And her what reaction was, 
Oh. That's it. I yeah. That's I mean That's all she gave me. Oh yeah. She she dreamt I mean, that Ellen DeGeneres died and she was like Oh. I said what a shame in like a sarcastic way. I don't want her to die. I just mean like it wouldn't affect my life. I know that sounds horrible. No, no, that's fair. That's fair. I just don't think she's a very good person or a very nice person. So, yeah. That's fair. Um, and I feel like Joe agrees. Yeah, I think Joe agrees. Um, and then last one. This is one that I've thrown in from me again. Um, I'm going to summarize it briefly, but you know, feel free to hit me up if you want me to explain it in detail. So, I dreamt I was moving into my house at uni. Um, and there was this like mattress in the back garden. Um, really weird, it was really, and I was like, guys, we need to get rid of this. Yeah, like, we can't be having an old mattress just sat there. So, mm -hmm. I, I picked it up, and underneath it, there was this massive spider. And I was like, right. fuck this, jumped back. And the spider jumps towards me. <sighs> I can't, it, even as I say it. The spider <laughs> was wearing a tiny cowboy hat <laughs> and a bandana. Um... And I was like, what the fuck is this? Turn around, my mum is there, inexplicably, and she says, yeah, this is normal, it's the cowboy spider. <laughs> and I was like, there's no such thing. She said, yeah, you know, the cowboy spider, you know what it is. And I'm like, mm, okay, okay. So I then, for some reason, I was going home in the street. I was like, okay, right, I'm not doing this now, I'm going back home. So I like, came back on the train to go back to Milton Keynes. Um, and like, I'm on the train, I look out of the window, and this spider, wearing its cowboy hat and bandana, is jumping along the side of the train. Like, I cannot quite, like, it could jump so far. It was keeping pace with the train, and like, just springing around, oh, it was disgusting, I hate it, I hate it so much. And I was like, so this is weird, turn around. My mum is there again, inexplicably, and she says, this is fine, what are you overreacting about? I'm like, it's a massive spider. And then she says, yeah, you know, it's El Bandito. <laughs> Why is it so detailed? So I dreamt that I had a, spy a cowboy spider called El Bandito, which just jumped around. And it was never violent towards me, it wasn't aggressive towards me, it was just jumping around, following me around. Um, creepiest thing I've ever had and I did wake up and for five minutes genuinely believe that the cowboy spider existed with the bandana and, and I love how cool your mum is in it though she no just this vibes is the thing. With it. my weirdest dreams contain my mum telling me that whatever is happening is normal it's cool <laughs> and I think that's now how I can tell when a dream is that weird is that my mum will be in it and she will say this is fine because if my mom says this is fine in the dream, it means this is weird, man. Um, so, you know, there's that. Well, that was, that was a great one. Unexpected, right? That, that was. I that was, was an antidepressant dream that. as well. So there you go. Antidepressants, they'll make you, uh, they'll, they'll help you out, but they will send your brain weird, man. We had some really nice comments about last week's, oh, yeah. uh, last week's, last, it was like two weeks ago. The episode on mental health which i just wanted to really thank people for um i yeah i basically shared it everywhere it's unlikely that you will if you're following me on social media you'll have seen it and got sick of it probably um but i shared it with some people from work who messaged me and were like hey we really loved it it was really honest and really nice and you guys really handled it well and i was like oh that's really cute. And we had a couple of people from my work say that. Uh, I've had people I haven't spoken to in a few years, like probably since school, who popped up and were like, hey, just listen to this episode. Really good. I'm so glad to see you're doing well and stuff. And I was like, oh, hi. Um, oh, tell me who after. I will. I will. Um, it was just crazy. So yeah, thank you to everyone for, for your support, for telling us that you liked it. Um, it, it, it's good to hear, I think. For me, it was like, a, huh, we did good, you know? Um, yeah. And I, you know, I'm glad that people found it as, as useful as, as I, as I hoped it would be. Like, it's got loads of people listen to it. Um, it's like possibly one of our most, like, 
listen to in the first week or whatever. Um, so it's nice. It was a nice like things come out of it. I'm glad we could do it. Um, thanks again to Sadie and Piers for just being great guests. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we've got a new guest on the podcast. Uh huh. Called Pippin. <laughs> Hi Pippin. Hi. Hi Pippin. Tell us what your mental health. <laughs> Food. <laughs> Food. Understandable. Understandable. Sorry. Yeah. Well, thank you. I uh, yeah, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who's given us feedback and stuff. It's yeah. It's it's difficult sometimes to hear I, I don't know, like that people have listened to what you've said. Like Yeah, I was telling like, like people are like, Oh, I need to listen to your podcast and I say, like, Oh, you don't you don't have, have to. to. <laughs> I was like, why am I saying that? I want people to listen to my work. I want people to listen to it. But um, it's very hard to be proud of things like that. And it's um, nice that people have appreciated, like, because obviously it is kind of, it's like being vulnerable online, you know. It's, you know yeah, you I was the... really worried about it. I was like, oh, I could maybe I should edit out some of this stuff. Very little of it was edited out. Like, yeah, basically what you got was the entire kind of conversation yeah. um and it was really like we didn't plan much of it in advance it was just like a lot of things we said were just there in the moment um i really enjoyed making it you know i think it was really like therapeutic and good to to talk about it honestly i think it was tough but it was good i i think like i don't know it is it is hard listening to your friends struggles like you it is draining yeah. so i'm glad we had last week off just because yeah no it was like you know something that's tough but then worth it in the end i think that's the thing some things are not you know not everything is like funny ha ha blah 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 sometimes it's it can be more intense and more difficult but yeah it's glad to see that i i I think it was nice that we showed we can do that because you know it makes us seem less like we're just angry weirdos who laugh at strange things actually hey we're humans we have feelings and you know yeah, for sure. That's good. But, um... Okay. Anyway, <laughs> that aside, that was last week. That's gone now. Welcome now back. Now we can be... <laughs> now we're talking about music again, because we love that too. Um. Oh my god, this week with the playlist. Because we had last week off, it is a, a fat playlist. Yeah. Um, okay. Do you want to kick us off, like, a song? I, well, actually, we'll start at the top of the list, I think, because okay. Parasols yeah that really really liked it was so it's like dance but then chill like yeah. how do you it's like got the drive like the drums and stuff that should be in a oh my phone is apparently dying um that should be in a club song but then it's got the vibe of something a lot more chill and it works very well I think it, it it feels quite poppy almost like yeah. you get the feeling it's like, oh, this is gonna be quite like poppy and things, or whatever. And then it like it's just quite like It's just nice. Yeah, it, it like I think when you're listening to it, you're like, oh, this has got like a deeper thing going on here. Um I really liked it. I looked up um I literally like, looked up lyrics, looked at everything else. Um there's some like there was one that was like, um You said goodnight, I wish there'd be more love, do the years last. And I was like God. Damn, you got deep there, son. And I don't think you would have got that just by by listening. I think you can listen to it and, like you say, be like, oh, this is just cool. We're just vibing. You're just doing it. And then it's like, whoa, this is like a deep shit going on behind the scenes. Um, but yeah, apparently she said that it's just about like covering yourself and protecting yourself from like the scariness of like the world. Um, which I see, I get that. But it was, a, yeah, I liked it. It was like a, I basically went through these Spotify, like, Discover playlists, and I was like, huh. Or we'll whack that on the playlist. So, yeah. That yeah. Was like but um, she's, like, still quite small, still quite a small artist. Um, I think she had one hit that was, like, did I had, like, a million or something. Am I wrong? Possibly. That might... Possibly. Um, um, a three million. No, no. She she has got. She's got one song called "Folding," which has got three million. Yeah, I think that one was released before this yeah. one, possibly. I know it was really cool. Um, definitely go check it out. Uh, you know, really good, really good shit. Good, good shit. The good <laughs> shit. Um, we love you. We do. She's we very do. pretty as well. She is. She really is. Um, yeah. 
No, definitely. I we like how stan. I, we stand. We do. We stand. Um, one. So your first one. Um, Mommy can't sleep. Oh uh, yeah. Ex boot. Hey, I want to say. Um, I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I was not Letters. expecting it at all. Like, I came into this and I was expecting like indie something. I don't. I don't know why. <laughs> I just jumped in. Um, didn't look up or anything. I was like, okay. This this is not what I expected, first of all, um, but in a really, really good way. Like, it got stuck in my head, because it's just the... Yeah. It's a very... It's very rhythmic, and, like, there's a lot going on there, and it just... It got hooked in there straight away, and I was like, oh, no. I've it's had this around my head for weeks. It's got the same energy as the Yonica song we mentioned last time, Seize the Power. It's got that same, yeah. like, you can fucking do it. Yeah. And then it's got like sort of the poppy voice of ash nico but then the i don't know it's almost more rock oh, i don't know it's, it's got a bit of a rock vibe as well in there it reminded me a bit of um i can't quite i can't think who it is so this is really annoying um it's like like i feel like you know my sister's well yeah my sister's quite into k-pop and stuff um, oh yeah, and yeah, so yeah. I listened to a fair bit off the back of that, and listened to some artists just from Korea and Japan. Yeah, um, and it definitely has that kind of vibe in there. It does, and I think they go for that aesthetic as well. I definitely get that I vibe. I definitely got it, but I just loved it. Like it was I think really... that's what the name is from. I really? think that I think yeah, because when I searched, I tried so. to see if they had a TikTok, and it kept coming up with like anime and like stuff like that so i i feel like it is inspired out. by and yeah. i also kind of likes it because it kind of links back to obviously i was thinking about the dreams and stuff um and like that question and then listen to the song i was like oh this is kind of linked to that in a weird way of like like it's nightmares Long. more than like happy dreams like it's dark dreams yeah. and shit and it's like it's that whole kind of it's like i said it's the mum i can't sleep kind of thing like the terrifying stuff that's really real and like jesus <laughs> like it's intense but it's, it's good it's good shit. The it's staring very staring abyss oh it's, it's yeah. quite like yeah it's, yeah it's imagery it's out there it's a little bit out there it's a little bit like oh, i guess you call it experimental but it, it's, it's a successful experiment that's what i'm saying here there was they a playlist good. on spotify ages ago that was called like walking like a badass mm -hmm. A badass, a ba I don't know how it's worded. A bad ass. Um, <laughs> but it, you know what? It, I don't have a bad ass. A bad I have ass. a good ass. <laughs> but it like belongs on that sort of playlist. Yeah. Um, they've only got two tracks released, actually. Really? Looked... Yeah. Nice. So I think they'll do well. It definitely had that kind of like sassy kind of not even sassy, but like. Like I you say, it was shocked. very, like, to seize the power by Yonaka. It's very, like, fuck this, mm. I'm just going to do this, and I'm going to succeed, and I'm going to smash it. It's really good. Yeah. Um, if we go to your one of yours, which is a bit of a different vibe, which is Celeste, mm. uh, Stop This Flame. Do you which know was... who Celeste is, first of all? Yes. So, I'm pretty sure, might be wrong, she played Reading, uh, Reading or Leeds Festival. Well, both, I guess. Um, but I, I think I walked past. I don't. I this. I, let me check this out because I might be spouting a load of shit. It's possible. <laughs> we do. We do have a tendency to do that. Um, I will tell you that she is. So she was the BBC like sound of twenty twenty. Like she won that yeah. one. And then last so the John Lewis Christmas advert last year. Well, Christmas just gone. Um, she sang the the song for that. Like she basically, this year has been a, a good year for her. Like she's done quite well off the back of it, and it's growing and growing. And I really like her her voice. I think it's got a really nice like it's a very pure tone to it. Very um yeah. I don't even know. I, like can you have a pure voice? Like it's that kind of feel. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, sorry, I was just, like... No, I do, do you have an update on the, the Reading and Leeds situation? No, because it doesn't come up... It comes up with Celeste and Daphne or something, so maybe, I, maybe I'm maybe i thinking of somebody else, but, um, I don't... Yeah, I, to be honest, I, I won't keep looking because it doesn't really matter that much. Um, but I really like... Sort of, um... 
like if Georgia Smith was more poppy. Like mm-hmm. that was sort of like the 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 vibe and like with her voice, just very. I don't know. Like I, d- I really liked it and the sample at the beginning. Yeah, do you know what it is? Um, yeah, I actually searched it this morning because well. Pierce called his parents to ask because we were both singing it and we couldn't remember mm-hmm. what it's called. Mm-hmm. Take five. Um, yeah, take five. Is it is French? Is it French? Possibly. Dave, but it says Dave Brew Brubrek. Now this is weird because it's not the sample I was thinking of. However, that oh. is almost certainly in there. So there is a sample from Nina Simone in there. Oh. Um, from the song Cinema. Which I I was listening to it the whole way through and I was like, this feels very Nina Simone kind of vibes. And then I was like, oh, because yeah. she sampled it. Um, I didn't know about the other sample, but you know what? It's I'll at the beginning. It I'll go check you know... it out. Okay. I'm going to listen to it now and I'll be like, got it. Um, but yeah, it's really good. And I like, so she said, um, Stop This Flame is a song about seeing it through to the end. Whether it's about not letting go of love, not letting go of a dream, or stridently coming through some kind of adversity. And I thought, that's actually quite nice because she released this just after she won sound of 2020 and then yeah. she's basically had an incredible year like despite covid and stuff she's still coming through she's growing people are listening i think she's just dropped a new album like i said she was on the john lewis christmas advert like she's definitely growing quite yeah. quickly um but yeah she's really nice she seems quite chill and like she's not over the top or anything um this and actually Avimaru before this. Avimaru? Avimaru? Don't know. Um, are both. Uh, so Avimaru is black and Celeste is mixed race, I believe. Um, doesn't, you know, obviously it's, it's not why you should necessarily listen to anyone, but um, just nice. It was good to, good to see that kind of thing growing. Something a bit different. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. No, I typed in to see about the samples, and it does just come up with Cinnamon. So I'd be, really? I'd actually be interested um, whether it was just like inspired by. Maybe. Um, Possibly. I'm kind of interested. So... I'll listen to it again. I'm, I'll probably be like, oh yeah, it does sound like that. Um, <laughs> it's really good. Um, Being honest by Post Party. Oh. Um, I won't lie to you. I, I had to stop it at first because I was like, what? I was really confused because I was still in the mindset from the previous song. Yeah. I was sorry, it, and then it just like <laughs> threw me, I was like, hello? <laughs> it was like coming up from like underwater really quick and you're like, whoa, okay. Um, but no, it was good. It had like, um, it's the band um, Circle Waves, I want to say. Yeah. It had their kind yeah, of yeah, vibes. Yeah. It had their, um, those kind of like, it was like summer vibes. It had that feel to it of me of like, it just had that feel to it. But, like, it was also, like, their own... Like, it wasn't wholly... It's just, like, a simple... It, yeah, like it was very different. Song. And I did like the um, the sort of hook, which was, there's nicer ways there's of nice being ways honest. Being honest. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I kind of thought, oh, yeah. I thought, like, uh, there was a bit of self-reflection going on there. I was like, I am honest, but maybe I could be nicer about it. I liked it because it made me think of this podcast. It made me think of us. Um, okay. In that there's nice ways of being honest. And it was like, yeah, we are quite blunt sometimes. Um, and there's probably nicer ways that we could phrase things. However, like, I've had people talk to me in the week and be like, yeah, actually, I th- yeah, that, you, you made a good point or something. And, like, like they, they kind of agreed with it. And it's like, okay, cool. I think I think we're both quite... We can be quite blunt with things and could probably yeah. be more diplomatic, but sometimes it's like, sometimes it's more helpful to just be blunt and honest and be like, look, this Do is... Do the explaining is... after. Yeah, <laughs> almost. Um, no, I liked it. It was a good song. It's a good song. It had those like, again, it was one of those like classic me songs, if that makes sense. Like, yeah. It's one of those songs that I would, I, it would come on the radio or something. I'd be like, yeah, I like this playlist. Um, yeah, it's a good shit. Um, so your next one was sincerely overwhelmed by orchards. It was, it was, and I thought it was like very like cutesy. I don't know if that if yeah. that sounds like an insult, but it's not. Like it was just cutesy. No, it does um, have those vibes. Yeah, she's got like a very young, um, sort of innocent 
voice. Mm. Like, I don't know. But yeah. that's really weird because then when you look at lyrics, you've got some... Okay, so I'm going to give you some more lines, okay? Okay. Um, Because it's too hard to describe the mechanics of my mind, but believe me, it's true that I want to be honest with you. Uh, oh in so many ways, it's safe to say I'm fed up of feeling all these broken and toxic emotions. There's a chokehold around my positive thoughts. And Aww. in the chorus, you've got, it's clear you've been sincerely overwhelmed. You think you do, but you don't hide it well. And it's like, I don't think you get that feel from the song. Like you say, it's got no. that kind of cutesy vibe. And then you look into it no and you're idea. like, whoa. <laughs> it's kind of like Parasols again. It like catches yeah. you a bit by surprise. Um, but it was very, I, I, I vibed hug them. It. Yeah. yeah. I vibed it a lot because it, it kind of links to, it was kind of things that I could relate to quite a lot of like, especially like, you know, it's too hard to describe the mechanics of my mind, but believe me, it's true that I want to be honest with you. That sums up a lot of how I, I feel about talking to certain people and like, it's, it's really hard to explain what's going on without just going, I feel sad or something. Yeah. Um, but also you really want to be honest and like explain it. So you're it, like, you have those two things of, I want to tell you what's going on, but I almost don't have the words to explain to you what's going on in my head right now. It's almost like a secret diary. Like, you've put it out there with exactly, like, what you feel and what you say, but mm. unless somebody sits down and looks at the lyrics, they're going to have no idea what you actually mean by it. It's kind of like... Thing. And, like, it's a, it's a clever thing, because I guess it appeals to, like, a wider people. as people, like, dance to it and enjoy it. and be like, yeah, this is really good. This is really nice. It's really sweet. And then it's like this bit about like being quite honest and, and real about it. Yeah. Um, and apparently the line is clear you've been sincerely overwhelmed. Came yeah. Came up from a conversation with uh, the vocalist therapist. Of like in the thing, I was like, yeah, that is a very like therapist kind of line. Um, <laughs> it's got it's that kind of feel. To it. I don't know. It's a really. Yeah. I like it. It's a song that I could definitely relate to. Um, kind of clearly on the basis of like last episode um it's a nice one it's a good song i, ju I just wanted to clarify for any of the um oh. youtube watchers right that um when chris <laughs> was saying about relating to the being overwhelmed i had very aggressive hiccups and i wasn't <laughs> i wasn't laughing i was just trying i heard that and i was like <laughs> laughing at this this isn't the vibe we're going for okay no has. you know when you try and like suppress it and then it comes like it pounds in your throat oh it really hurt but it was just like i didn't want people to think i'm like bloody pissing myself oh shit about you <laughs> can you imagine honestly oh, yeah. you'd be cancelled immediately i'd still come out of this looking quite good somehow oh, so funny my god um, um, yeah, and then your last one, uh, Still yeah. Not Dead, by, so, it's by Dreamers. Dreamers, and then, I guess, is it American Teeth and Wes Period are, like, in there as well? I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, um, yeah I, I, it, it's cool, so I, again, you know, I'm a nerd, I'm basic, I looked it up and, like, looked into a bit of the backstory of it, um, and so it was talking about, apparently it was, the song was written the same day that um, Hobie Bryant died in the helicopter crash. Uh... And like the day after he'd been to a funeral for one of his best friends, I think he'd committed suicide. Yeah, um, it's a really, it's a bit like uncomfortable to listen to, but then it like is, catchy. It it's weird because it's catchy and then you're like, oh, should he be saying that? But oh, uh, mm. yeah. It's very personal, but also like. It's, it's it's very it's very odd. I, I was in like several minds about it, but I I do like it and I I like that it's um because it could so easily just be a sad song about you know losing people that you love and feeling horrible and feeling shit. Um, but it's not. It's like kind of carpe diem and like, hey, look, I'm still alive. I'm still here. Let's let's just go. Let's just enjoy the time that we have here. You know, let's let's enjoy life while we can um because obviously it can end far too soon yeah it, 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 i i did like it i do like it it i wasn't what i was expecting i went later i looked no. at the title looked at the album art and i was like oh it's gonna be some kind of death metal song fuck me <laughs> panicking um and i listened to it and i was like this is very very weird very um i 
put it in there, like, out of the others, because I just thought, actually, that's the one that I'm going to remember. You yeah. know, like, I'm definitely going to remember that, because it's yeah. just a bit... It made, it made me... I was, I was listening to it when I was walking the dog, and I was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. That was sort of my emotions through it. Yeah. <laughs> I like I like how it kind of deals with with grief, you know? It, it's, it's very honest. It is very honest, and it's very... It's, it's just... And unapologetic. I think I've said it about songs before. It could just be very, like, you know, someone I love has died. This has made me quite sad. You know, yeah. it would be understandable, but actually, it's like a, it's like it's using that as a, almost turning it into a positive thing. Going, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy my life and and do what I can. Almost, you know, in his place, like enjoy the life that they could have had, even though they're not here now to, yeah, to enjoy it. Um, so yeah, I I found it quite actually weirdly quite nice. I realize that most people listen to it and be like, oh, that's quite a lot, isn't it? But yeah, I think I like the honesty in songs and the like, the realness of lyrics. I think that's yeah, yeah, yeah no, for sure. That that wrapped up quite nicely, I think. It's, oh, and also it's not on the list, but um, I just wanted to say I have had um, oh. UK Hunt stuck in my head. All UK, fucking... oh yeah, it's on there. It's from um, RuPaul's Drag Race UK, um, which me and my sister have been watching on uh it's on that bbc one it's a, it's on bbc iplayer but it's also on um they show it on bbc one every week they're like release an episode so i've been watching that um and at first i was like really not sure this is for me um you know what yeah i'm willing to say it. i quite enjoy rubles drag race i think it's, oh yeah it's pretty damn good uh, i've never really sat down and, and like watched it before it has me smiling every time like i'm actually sat with my sister discussing it in detail i'm like I uh, see. I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have worn that dress like that. And it's like so. I'm so into it. Um, but last week's episode, they did. Um, so they they had to like record a song together. Like so, it was written by by RuPaul, obviously, and things. But it was like as if they were going on to Eurovision. So it's like that kind of thing. Um, it is the catchiest fucking song. Ever. Like you will listen to it, and you will have it stuck in there whether you oh. like it or not fucking great That's it's not so on the funny. list like that we were going to talk about i just have to give it a special mention because special mention i love it and yeah okay. i i'm now a, a rupaul's drag race fan unexpected I was so shocked. exciting i thought you were gonna say jordan mccampus new ep but oh no okay. that's <laughs> <laughs> but okay no jordan mccampus as you know i love you very much i liked your new ep i've had a listen it's like the stuff. it's the good stuff okay like it's the good like, stuff okay like it's the, I like many things. I like you, you know? L- love? Yeah, okay. You, you know I'm uncomfortable with the word. Okay, look. I love, <laughs> I love you. Okay. I love your music. I've told you before that I hate you because I love you. That's that. Um, you know, when I was listening to it, there was a part of me, like, slapping my veins to, like, bring them to the surface because it was, like, it was like drugs, you know? I was just trying to get it in my veins. It was the good stuff. However, RuPaul's Drag Race UK was, was good for it. It was... It was similarly good for an entirely different reason. It was just, it was just good, trashy pop. I love it. I loved it so much. Um, and I've been watching every episode, and that's what I've become. Okay, lockdown. Chris has surprised everyone. Quite like RuPaul's Drag Race. There we go. I said it. I said it. Thanks, everyone. Yep. Good. Bye. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. Why did I do this? No. Okay. Yeah. Um. But I think before I almost offend someone or say something odd again because apparently i do that sometimes um we'll wrap it up so thank you all for listening it's been we another strange and odd episode and i don't understand what we said and i'm probably going to go and edit out half of it but we love you thank you for sticking with us um and fuck knows what's going to happen next week ciao Woo. bye Okay. Why are you so weird? I don't know.